there, Pete Johns here with a quick tip for GarageBand for iPhone. And this is how to set up the number of bars and sections that you want in your new song. And this is one of the hardest sort of features to find within GarageBand. So we'll take you through how to do that right now. So let's start a new song by going plus and create new song. And we'll just select the keyboard for now to show you where we go in. Now at the moment you can see that we've defaulted to 8 bars, so any new GarageBand track that you record will default to 8 bars. If we want to change that, we simply press the plus button over to the side here, and you can see that we've got the option here to change the number of bars of that section. So by simply tapping on that, we can change the number of bars by tapping up, or like most menus on GarageBand, we can press and hold, and if we drag up, and then drag down, we can actually move that in larger amounts, which is handy. So what I like to do is select, say, about 120 bars to start with, and hit Done. And what you can see there is that where it had 0 through to 8, we've now got up to 120 bars across the top there. So I can start recording, and I've got a lot of room to move and, and to uh, start recording my song. There's other options and ways to do this, though. So if we hit the plus again and go back into this first section. What we can also do is click automatic. So what automatic will do is you know, it will base the amount of bars on your performance. So if you record 24 bars uh, on the first time that you record on the first instrument, it's going to take the song as being 24 bars. So handy if you just want to throw on automatic, um, get, some, get an idea down, and then the rest of the song will be built around the length of that idea. We've got one more option that we can use here as well. So if we change that back to, we'll just slide this one back down to 12 bars for that first section and go OK. Uh, so we've got 12 bars here now. We press the, press the plus again and what we can actually do is actually either duplicate or add sections. So if we say have a 12 bar intro and then we want a 12 bar verse, we can just hit duplicate and you can see we've got section A and B now. If we then want a chorus that's say 24 bars, we can hit add and then hit the little I button here, and we can change that to whatever we want. So if we wanted 24, we can have 24 bars on that next section, and hit Done. And you can see here that now at the top here, it's only displaying, and you won't be able to see it very well here, but you can see it'll have 25C at the top there. So it's starting at the 25th bar, so there's 24 bars. This is section C, and starting at bar number 25, where if we press the plus, and go into all sections and hit done. It'll now show us all sections, but it shows us a little separator there with the B and the C showing how many bars we've done. What I'll do is I'll just record a quick bar here just to show how this will actually work. So we don't actually need anything in particular, but if we now go into the track view, we'll see this a lot clearer. So we can now scroll through the, the track itself. If we hit on the plus key and we go back to that section A, we can see that we're here in bars 0 or 1 through to 12. And what we can do is actually scroll across. And now we're in B. And we can scroll across. And we're now in C. So that little piece of audio that I recorded there is in section C. But as we scroll back through B and A, it's not there. If we want to view all sections, we hit the plus again and we go all sections, and now our audio is sitting right in there, but we also have, if we scroll in, and sorry, zoom in, we can see where section B starts, and if we scroll down, we can see where section C starts, and our audio. So that's a quick tip of how to set up your song sections, and how to get the bars correct for you to be able to put a good performance into GarageBand, and to make sure that you're uh, comfortable in the way you go.